being part of a small community in British Columbia is a unique lifestyle that is filled with wonder, challenges, and excitement that many of us embrace with passion. It's a lifestyle that leads our residents and organizations to find creative ways of promoting an active and vibrant community atmosphere. Recently, several community organizations in Chetwin came together to launch a new event in town. So the event is a virtual run. Every year the library does something to promote physical literacy and we were discussing how we could do something virtual to promote physical literacy and we didn't want to do something virtual and have all the other groups and organizations doing something virtual on the same weekend. So we reached out to them to see if they had planned anything and they hadn't and so together all the groups came together and the virtual run happened. So in this case one of the things that we were able to do in Chetwin was that we were approached by the Chetwind um, Public Library in order to help get involved in the virtual run. So part of our role was to provide some social media content in terms of some of the health activities that you can do in the community. One that we're particularly passionate about is climbing Mount Baldy. We do it in our personal time and we encourage the people that see us to participate in it as well because it's so accessible. Um, in the community, you literally can take your lunch break or right after work, you can come up here and do an easy hike. Yeah, and you can go at your own pace and you're only in competition with yourself. When you're involved with physical literacy, we tend to associate it with sport. And when you're active, you're usually doing it with somebody. So you're building friendships. And when you're building friendships, you're also part of a community. So with this virtual run being, bringing the community together is just such a wonderful, healthy way of inclusion. And everybody feels like they're part of something and it's absolutely wonderful. doesn't love the outdoors. How could you not love the outdoors? If you're feeling anxious, go for a walk. If you're feeling depressed, go for a walk. If you had a rough day, go for a walk. That is, it is, it is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Nature is the place to be. Looking from the outside in, it felt as if the set pieces for this event naturally kept falling into place. I personally was involved in, in the run myself with the Visitor Centre. We put it um, out there that we have different sports equipment, so if anybody was looking to get in shape or stay in shape, they could come to us and vis visit us and borrow anything that they needed for the, the parks, like basketballs or volleyballs, soccer balls. So, and that's just the that's just the start of it. We have quite a bit of stuff. Well, we had a few like uh, video conferences, and I suggested some ideas. Um, I was the one that suggested like that just do an hour and see how long you can run an hour, um, because we discussed different lengths and different trails that we could do, or where we're going to do it on a road or whatever. But we're like that could be really difficult because some people might not want to run on a trail, some people might not want to run on a road. One person's five kilometers is another person's thirty kilometers, and so. Uh, we just decided to do an hour and then you're just challenging yourself. Over 40 participants ended up accepting the challenge to complete a 60 minute run or an activity of their choice in a span of six days. This event has served as a reminder of how blessed we are to have organizations and incredibly dedicated people in our community which have a beautiful impact in our lives all year round. All right, so Peace Christian School. Um, we're a Christian school based about 10 kilometers out of um, the town of Chetwin. And uh, we're a K-12 school. And yeah, fitness has been one of our goals here at Peace Christian School. We have a lot of, you know, your normal sp sport programs. We go on a football trip, there's volleyball trips. Um, we've done soccer before, so lots of sports programs like that. But we've also done our individual kind of races. We've done team races as well. We have your Ghost Mountain Grunt that we do here in the fall. 
Um, we have your senior and junior adventure race that are more in the spring. Um, we do a loopy race that's in the spring. The fun aspect is really important too, um, because it, for us it's kind of the payoff as well. You know, we put a lot of work in the gym, a lot of work in, in other areas, and for us a lot of that focus is athletics, it's sports. And so being able to come out here and roll around, yeah, it's really good exercise, but it, it's fun, right? And to try to keep that exercise fun, it kind of helps you keep going as well. Yeah. So Tansy Friendship Centre is a nonprofit society that um, serves people who are in need in our community and the way we do that is through programs um, that start all the way from infancy right up to adulthood. Like we serve uh, prenatal right up to elders. Yeah, so we have food bank, prenatal classes, um, after school programs, preschool, lots more programs. I like canoeing because it gets you out on the water. The water is very calming. It's also something you can do with other people and it's just an easy task that doesn't require a ton of skill to have a good time. Hi, I'm Chelsea. And I'm Kayla. And we work for West Moberly First Nations at the Daki Yazi Child Care Center. And we're also members of the West Moberly First Nations Health and Wellness Team. As part of the Health and Wellness Team, we promote healthy living to community members near and far to encourage them to get healthy and outside. And at the Daki Yazi Center, we encourage children from a young age to get outside, play outside, uh, eat and prepare healthy meals. Today, for our physical activity, we chose golfing at West Moberly First Nations Golf Course. Golfing is a great way to get outside and enjoy the sun and we encourage everyone to come out and enjoy this golf course by the lake. The rec center is the community um, place for every, all the kids to gather and have fun and um, different different kinds of sports, everything that you can ask for in the winter, in the summer, in the fall, in the spring. Um, it's just a, the community foundation of for Chetwin. Running is my passion. Um, I've been running for probably 20 years, um, competitively for the last 10. Um, it's just something that I do to, you know, if I'm having a bad day, it can just make all my worries and problems go away. It's good for your mental health and, and I love to promote health and wellness. So my name is Megan Campbell. I'm part of the Soto First Nations community, which is a nation of Cree, Beaver, Soto, and Deniza. I work within the health department and we contribute to the nation by promoting health and wellness. We have numerous positions within the health center. My main role is to do outreach and recreation. Um, along with that role, I take care of fitness classes, nutritional programs, wellness challenges. We deal with anything that would help the community long-term live a healthy lifestyle. Yoga for me personally has helped heal me through a lot of what I've been through throughout my life. Yoga, especially this year during some of the issues that have been arising for us, it's helped me cope and helped me be present in the moment and not to panic with what's been going on. I share my yoga with the community as much as I can because I think that it would help others as well be more present in the moment and to be with themselves. But physical literacy shouldn't come and go like our seasons do. Instead, we should embrace all sorts of outdoor activities regardless of the weather just like our friends at the Outdoor Society do. The Chubwin Outdoor Society uh, promotes physical literacy. Uh, we recently had a ski race last winter and uh, we did the uh, Bruce Ski Race. A lot of people were introduced to uh, cross-country skiing, really enjoyed it, uh, enjoyed the activities of getting outside and uh, a cheap uh, family sort of sport that uh, you know, is close to Chowin and uh, very, you know, 
uh, fun to get out, then you can do your physical distancing with cross-country skiing. Uh, we also do uh, summer uh, hiking. Uh, we recently did a trip to uh, Bickford Tower and uh, to uh, Mount Murray. Uh, we, every summer we usually do a few hikes and uh, you can find us on the uh, Chetwin Outdoor Society Facebook page and we also have a website, uh, just uh, Google Chetwin Outdoor Society.